Welcome to the Arsenogen Archives, I am Arsenogen. It has been a long time since I've done this kind of video, but here we're going to be learning how I do my countdown. So in a video when you see like it goes number one and then it moves and goes off into the corner or something like that. That's what I'm going to show you. I don't know if anyone else does it this way, but this is how I do it because this is what I get to work with. The pan and crop are going to be your best friend. So what I do first here, you want to make sure you turn off auto ripple. It automatically uh, turns it on for you, so there's the auto ripple up there. You can also click it down here. Uh, he's going to go say number 10. Ring C. Number 10. This. All right, and I think for this, this style, I'm just going to do the right click, add text, right here, insert text media. That's what I did. I'm going to type in number 10, um, and then I'm going to pick whichever font I think looks best. We're going to do 10 right there. Now this is where the magic comes in. Let's zoom in. We're going to need it for a little bit of time. How long? Steel C. See how fast he says it. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. Very. So about right here, it should already be in the corner. Alright, so how many seconds is that? It's only a couple. So we'll right click, go to video event effects, and then just close this right away. And uh, this one popped up. It was on the other side. It popped up. Um, make it smaller though so you guys can see what happens. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the beginning of this. And we're going to select what size we want it to be. Now eventually we want it to be this big size right here, how it is. So we're going to go this button right here, last keyframe. Click it. Create keyframe. Then we're going to go click right next to it, create another keyframe. Then we're going to go back to the beginning, create keyframe. And we are going to take this way, way in. Oops, I mean, yeah, way, way in. Meaning, we're going to pull it out as far as we can. Um, and then we want it to be back in the middle about this point. So we'll see We'll see how long that takes. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. That's too long. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this point, which is when it's normal in the middle. We're just going to take this point and move it up this way a little bit and try it again. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. Still, still a little too slow. Move it forward. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. A little bit more. I want it I want it to hit right when he says 10. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. Very good. Alright, so we have Number it 10. when it hits. This DLC is and difficult. And then here is where we Very want it to go back to the Very. side. So we're going to take this other one that we had already made and put it right there and we'll make a slight change to it. We want to get this 10 up into the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push control and then drag the sides of this until I get it into the spot that I want and the size that I want. And sometimes it goes out of bounds like that so you have to push control to kind of give it more space there. There it is. Alright, now we want to make it a little bit bigger. But I want to keep it in that corner. So you just kind of got to mess around with it a little bit. All right, so now we got our three points. We're gonna go back to the beginning. So point one, Number 10. point this two, DLC and then over this difficult. side. Very. All right, what we want it to do is last a little bit longer. So this same point right here that has it at its normal size, we're gonna add another one right next to it. Right next to it, just like that. Try it again. Number 10. So it this stays DLC a little bit. Is but it moves off to the side a little bit because it's uh, it's off center. So all you gotta do is you just gotta recenter it. You know, use your arrow keys if you have to. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Drag it over. Number ten. This DLC is different. Off to the side. Very Perfect. Difficult. That's Beating exactly what we want. All right, and then we can just drag it for as long as we need it. Blindfolded in a dark room. Right, right, blah, blah, blah. Make Before sure you your colors are on. You can do that through right click, edit generated media here, and it'll let you change the color. It'll, oops. It'll let you change the color. It'll let you uh, change the font, outlines, shadows. I usually do an outline or shadow. But when you're ready to move on to your next point, the you have running around your first play. Right here. Number nine. All right, so drag this up to here. 
right? And in the beginning of this, I think I want to fade it in. You know. Number 10. That way it's kind of like it appears out of nowhere at the end. I'm also going to let it fade out slowly Wait, with the gameplay. Number nine. Right, all right. So now we're just going to line this up with the next one. Right click on the 10. Copy. Line up our uh, our cursor here, the next one. Right click, paste. It's going to ask, do you want to create a new copy? So yes, you want to create a new copy. Then you right click. Edit generated media. Number nine. And you're all set to go. You just uh, move it to the length you need it to be. Right, so here we go. We got number 10. Number 10. This DLC is difficult. Very Perfect, and then at the end, the 10 well is going to fade out and it's going to go to the 9. Number 9. There are two ways to access the new zones. That's right. There we go, and you can just keep doing that all the way through. Just copy, paste, change the numbers, and it will save. As long as you've already done this pan and crop thing, it will save, and you can just keep doing it over and over again. Uh, I haven't found a way to be able to save it across platform, but this is a, a simple way to do it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a thumbs up. That would make me super happy. If there was something I didn't explain clearly enough or that you still have questions about, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I, I respond to them pretty actively, so I'd be happy to help you out with that. But until next time, I hope you have a good rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, overnight, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time.